I'm sitting with Emmanuel Togo, who's the uh, senior network engineer for the University of Ghana, Legon. There's, I think, uh, an amazing story to tell about um, about how the campus wireless infrastructure was built here. So, um, first, uh, Emmanuel, can you tell us a little bit about about uh, UG Legon and how big it is and how many um, how many students there are? Okay. Um UG Legon um, is the largest university in Ghana. Um, it has a student population of probably about 40,000 students. Um, have a wide campus um, covered with uh, vegetation. It's a very um, uh, fast campus. Yeah. Um, we have a staff population of uh, 6,000. So faculty and uh, non-teaching staff as well, making us this yes. Okay. Yeah. And when um, when did you first start the the major expansion of the of the network infrastructure to to serve um, beyond just the core faculties, but to start serving the uh, the residences as well with uh, with wireless internet access? Okay. Actually, we started back in. 2009. Um, around that time, there was a lot of demand for wireless, um, mm -hmm. um, or so to call Wi Fi. Um, everybody was demanding for Wi Fi. But we said, okay, uh, we need to get our, our basics right um, to get our uh, wire network working very well before uh, we move on to wireless. Other, um, trying to prevent carrying the problem from the wire to the wireless world. So uh, we thought of uh, putting a break on the wireless for a while and concentrate on doing a very robust uh, wire network. So around 2009, we got a grant. So we decided to um, restructure our network. Um, before then, um, everything was kind of mushroom, um, kind of daisy chain from one switch to another. It was in a pretty nice network, a lot of problems. You have loops here and there um, coming in every now and then people call you, there's a problem. And there are a lot of unmanaged switches on the network, so make it very difficult to uh, control what is going on. You can't even have a view of the network. So um, we came up with a plan to have a distributed network. So um, 2009, when we got the grant, uh, we came up with a design. Um, uh, the campus was divided into 11 zones, um, so we have distribution switch um, all over these uh, areas, um, which connects to the core network, and then uh, attached to those distribution switches are access switches. So presently, uh, we have about 300 um, managed dev as, um, devices on the network, um, and it makes life very, very comfortable, um, at least at this stage. And right after that, now it was right for us to do wireless, so it becomes easy to plug and play um, our wireless infrastructure. And then, when we decided to do the wireless infrastructure, um, uh, we thought of um, these things, um, uh, the cost of the deployment, the manageability of the network, because wireless is like you can't see what is going on. So. At least we need to get a hold on what we are adding onto the network so that we can uh, um, respond um, proactively if there are issues. Um, then scalability. I mean, we want something that will scale over a period. So we look at a um, variety of solutions out there. Um, we looked at um, um, different vendors. Um, but even though they look pretty nice, um, but the cost factor was huge. So discuss it among ourselves and then extend it to um, a human network that we build over the years outside. I'm talking about NSRC, mentioned to them that um, we're thinking of uh, doing wireless network and what is out there on the market that um, we can use. And then the, they then said that, okay, there's this device that they've not really used it, not tested, but if we are interested, we can test it and see how it works. And if it works well, we run with it. So um, they've given us 10 of those uh, devices, Ubiquiti, um, Unify, 
which has a, a software controller at no cost um, and then uh, one of the um, APs cost about um, between 80 to 100 dollars um, so that was pretty um, um, cheap compared to other solutions that was out there on the market so we took 10 uh, APs and then we just plugged them into the network and within a matter of five minutes everybody's on it and uh, we have about 50 people connecting to the wireless network, 100 people connecting to the wireless network. Then um, it was now um, a model to present to management that, hey, with 10 APs, we are able to do this ourselves, not any other person. So doing Wi-Fi is that easy, uh, we do that. So management got convinced and then they committed some funds to, to, to that. And then the first phase, they, um, they gave us about ten thousand dollars, and we got um, what, um, what fifty to sixty APs in addition to what we had, and then the network keep on growing. And to date, I'll say that we have about two hundred APs on the network, just adding on, and so it, it shows the scalability of um, what we have. So gradually, we are rolling out. Um, so currently we covered some um, students residences um, and what that has done now is that it took pressure off our um, computer labs you don't get many students trooping into the labs and again you reduce costs on maintaining those lab, uh, computers in those labs and then students are finding their own means of getting laptops to get connected because hey now if you don't have laptop you're out of there is mm. everybody is getting um, their own laptop so that to pressure off us um, always getting desktops in the last for them to use so it's kind of kind of a lot of gains and um, we continue to expand um, on that front yes so a strong fiber backbone yes. and a well-planned network <laughs> created the kind of superstructure on which you could hang a um, uh, a scalable wireless network. Exactly. And right now you have two, so it's over over two hundred access points. Exactly. Serving a community of forty thousand students. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. And and um, I must say that on average daily basis you get um, simultaneous with about four four thousand students on the web on those two hundred. Uh, a piece at any one time. At any one time, yes. And um, so, uh, at, at, and you said the cost of each uh, AP was um, uh, was about eighty eighty to hundred eighty to a hundred dollars. Yes. So if we do the math uh, there, then a uh, hundred units was about ten thousand dollars. Yeah, about. And two hundred units, twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, about. Um, so, and effectively. Um, a campus the size of uh, UG Lagon is actually the, the size of a small town. Exactly. 40,000 people. In fact, I say it's a city on its own. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, conceivably, there's no reason why, you know, any small town um, couldn't actually follow your example and put in a, you know, a robust infrastructure, fiber backbone, a well planned network, and build. Um, a network that uh, you know that could wireless wirelessly serve an entire community. I agree with you. Definitely. I think it's an amazing example, and uh, I'm so glad you were able to talk about it. Thank you. Thank you for. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>